Greetings, friends. It's Derek Spear. What I'm about to do is show you a real quick overview of the unified configuration tool, which is used to configure our new electronics, the Blue 32, the, uh, the new AVX 36. Uh, you can also use it on the PSX, which hasn't come out yet. And we may have a couple more that are up our sleeves that you'll also use this for. So you'll open it up and there'll be a download link in the description here. You open it up and you access the drop down. First you want to connect your your DSD 36 button controller AVX series. You can see it identified here in the uh, in the drop down. And go to the uh, DSD site here and there we go we're on the correct page here for the information you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got the correct device selected when you go to configure it because it will if you have multiples of these devices it will pick them up you can see we've got a blue 32 on this the hid keyboard device is actually a PSX and then uh, this is our target device when you get yours you may have some check marks here once you open up the program you're going to hit the read button and some check marks could pop up and uh, after that you're going to say set default this will clear everything out so if you've got check marks in here like I'm doing let me get to a better scene there we go when you get to uh, if there's check marks in here you're going to say set defaults which clears everything out resets all the timing in the tabs and all that good stuff and then hit the update button now you can proceed with a clean configuration and again you can see that our target device is listed in the drop down okay now what I've got here is a uh, button on button 36 two encoders on inputs 1920 and 2122 and I've got a pot on input 1 so I'm gonna go here to the analog inputs and I'm gonna say put a check mark in button 1 that's analog inputs and in rotary encoders I'm gonna put down 19 and 20 and 21 and 22 there we go and I'm also going to say 36 you don't need to worry about it about it if it's a regular old button it works just like everything else and now we're gonna say update now we can go to the button test menu it will show here because there's a potentiometer on here it's actually going to show as lit up might be something we're gonna to have to code out of that if I remember um, anyhow just ignore that sorry about that bug I didn't even test this part here um, well I shouldn't say that actually this will be something we're gonna code out anyways here we go we'll go to button test and check and make sure everything's configured properly let's actuate our potential uh, encoders you can see going one way or the other way they blink like they should and then the other one will be the same kind of business real easy stuff and the push button here you can see the hat switch going on hat one and as you have other buttons here they'll actually be connected and show up as the hat hat two is unused for now there may be new features we we unlock or include later here's your access uh, connection and go here and we can see the pot working and doing what pots do you can go to the minimum and maximum value and scale or restrict the range and scale it back up over the 12 bits and you can also invert the uh, the output if you want to do that once you hit the update button you can see there we go and then you can change that pretty easy stuff let's change that back go to the advanced tab again your your values for your debounce analog filtering encoder press time rotary switch press time etc easy stuff firmware update you don't need to worry about that and uh, let's see keyboard doesn't apply so there you have it good stuff 
This is a new device that, that the uh, 36 button controller happens to be. It allows for up to 36 buttons directly connected and up to eight analog inputs. Those will use a button connection, by the way. I don't think I've stressed it enough. They will use a button connection. So if you put an analog pot on input one, you're not going to be able to put anything else on button one. In fact, you can't even you won't even be able to to set it. Anyways, there you have it. Simple and to the point, easy to use, which is why why you have this thing. It's got to be easy. I don't like having any headaches, and I know you guys don't either. Thanks for taking the time to look at it. Refer to this video as you need to. If my jumblings make any sense, it'll help you get this thing going, and actually you just follow the instructions and you'll get going no problem. Thank you.